Imagine being on a plane that's hit a patch of turbulence. That's exactly the situation WestJet finds itself in right now. This Canadian airline giant has found itself in a bit of a rough patch. WestJet has issued a 72-hour lockout notice to the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association, the union representing its mechanics. This move could potentially lead to a work stoppage starting as early as next Tuesday. The mechanics have been in talks with WestJet since September of 2023 negotiating a new contract. The major issues on the table benefits, pay, and job security. Despite the turbulence, WestJet has offered a wage increase of over 20% and industry-leading work-life balance standards. Both parties, however, are still committed to reaching an agreement keen to avoid any travel disruptions that could inconvenience passengers. The union, undeterred by the lockout notice, plans to continue negotiations. But the question remains, how did we find ourselves in this situation? Let's take a look back. Every journey has a starting point, and for WestJet and its mechanics union, that point was September 2023. Picture this. It's the fall of 2023, and we're at the negotiating table. On one side, we've got the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association, or AMFA for short. On the other side, we've got WestJet, one of Canada's most prominent airlines. The two parties are sitting down to hash out a new contract, and the stakes? They're high. The main issues up for negotiation are benefits, pay, and job security. These are critical concerns for the mechanics who work tirelessly to keep the planes in the sky. They want to ensure they're getting their fair share of the pie. And who can blame them? In an industry that's often turbulent, it's essential to ensure your parachute is packed, so to speak. Now let's flip the script and take a look at things from WestJet's perspective. They're facing pressure from all sides. They've got to keep their employees happy, keep their planes in the sky, and keep their bottom line healthy. It's a delicate balancing act, and one that's not always easy to maintain. So what's their offer? They've tabled a wage increase of over 20%, that's a significant bump up, and they're also promising industry-leading work-life balance standards, it's clear they're making an effort to address the concerns of their mechanics. But as we all know, negotiations are rarely a smooth flight. There are ups and downs, twists and turns, and sometimes things get a little bumpy. Despite the generous offer from WestJet, the two parties couldn't quite find their cruising altitude. Fast forward to now and we're in the midst of a lockout. It's a challenging situation, no doubt about it. But let's not forget that, despite the turbulence, both parties continued to negotiate leading us to the current lockout situation. So here we are in the midst of a lockout notice. A scenario that has put the Mechanics Union of WestJet the Aircraft Mechanics Fraternal Association, or AMFA, on high alert. This lockout notice has been a sudden turn in the journey that WestJet and AMFA have been on since September of 2023, negotiating a new contract. The main points of contention for this lockout revolve around benefits, pay, and job security. WestJet has extended a generous hand, offering a wage increase of over 20% and industry-leading work-life balance standards. Yet, the turbulence continues. Now let's consider the potential impact this might have on WestJet services and you, the travelers. A work stoppage starting on Tuesday could lead to disruptions in the flight schedules, causing delays or even cancellations. This could affect countless travelers who rely on WestJet for their transportation needs. However, all is not lost. The AMFA is currently conducting a strike vote. This is a democratic process where the union members vote to decide whether to go on strike or not. The voting will continue until May 9th. This means that there's still a chance for the situation to be resolved without any major disruptions. AMFA has shown resilience amidst this storm. Despite the lockout notice, they plan to continue negotiating with WestJet. Their commitment to reaching an agreement is a beacon of hope in these uncertain times. It is a testament to their dedication to their work and their passengers. So, as we navigate through this turbulent situation, there's a lot to consider. The outcome of the strike vote, the ongoing negotiations, and the potential impact on travelers are all factors that are currently up in the air. As we fasten our seatbelts and brace for what might come, we hope for a smooth landing for both WestJet and its mechanics union. After all, in the travel industry as in life, it's not about the turbulence but how we handle it that truly counts.